Hey guys, it's your guy Bo here with a very informal video. This is very informal. It's just, it's really just a follow-up of my last video because of the book review. Because there are some additional thoughts that I want to share about Red Harvest. So, you guys know how much I hate Lusk for what he did. But something I can't quite figure out is... <sighs> where his delusion came from. He, when he saw the zombies, the zombie students, he was like that one guy in Bird Box, how he wanted to see those monsters, whatever they were. But he wanted to get bitten by the zombies, and he let himself get bitten. He thought the sickness was going to get him immortality, but it didn't. Um, I'm trying to figure out where that delusion came from. He's a mystery. I feel like it's probably the textbook scenario where someone who's like the top performing student gets too arrogant, all their pride gets to their head, and they try to take it a step too far, and they end up somewhere where they didn't want to. But yeah. In the end, it backfired on him. Oh, really badly. But... Another thing I gotta say is, <clears throat> one thing that I admire is how the the librarian of the academy was a netty, and a netty is a tree like creature. It, it they have branches, they can grow roots. Trissa, who is in Legends, was a netty, and she was actually Mace Windu's master in Legends, and she lived from centuries before the Clone Wars to all the way to the time of Cade Skywalker. So she lived, She was the oldest Jedi of the Jedi Order alongside Masters Yoda and Faye. Um, but yeah, the librarian is a netty and it becomes infected by the sickness and it has a very bizarre effect. Um, the netty, uh, I can't remember, I can't recall his name, but he turns gray. Like his his bark, his tree, his body turns gray. And it's like the sickness starts to speak through him almost. Like, it's like he's kind of part of the sickness, kind of not, because he has some semblance of clarity. Um, I, I can't put my finger on it, and it's so bizarre. But one thing that has stood out to me was that these zombie students were doing things that the Death Trooper zombies didn't do. Like they were climbing walls, they were, uh, they, they were using other living organisms as means of transportation, um, like the, with the Tauntauns, um, and they, it's like they kind of, like, the, they kind of use the force to sense things, because... Um, we didn't really see too much of this in Death Troopers, but, like, they would reach through walls or out of the ground to grab their victims and pull them. Um, and, uh, th and one scene that stands out is Hestiz, Zoe, and Tolk are in the stables where the Tauntauns are. Um, and they, they're they probably thinking about, like, riding one out, but then, like, the power goes out, and Zoe can hear them coming, the un the infected coming, so she shoves Tulk into an empty stall, an empty stable, and gets on top of him and covers and silences him, and it's one of those things where the room fills with, like, um, zombies. Like, they're in this stable here. And the zombies are completely surrounding it. Like, they're surrounding the entire room, searching for them. But they're extremely quiet. They don't really, like, the, they don't scream to each other like the Purge and the Vector zombies do to each other in Death Troopers. Probably because they all came from the same place. So there's nothing really to, like, learn. There's no information to exchange. Um, but they do scream. 
Uh, and we learn about the virus that if you're bitten, it takes either several seconds or several minutes for the infection to, for the for uh, you to transform. But if you get spat on, like Toad did with the Tauntaun, a Tauntaun, an undead Tauntaun spat on him, um, it took several hours for him to transform. But yeah, it's so strange how it's it's they're quiet when they need to be. Which is different because, like, the force probably because um, force sensitives are trained to, like, no matter their faction, are trained to be quiet when they have to be. Um, and so they're quiet when they need to be, but when they're they don't need to be quiet, they will scream. But yeah, they file into the room, um, and it's like one of those things where you hold your breath, like, cover your mouth to avoid being discovered, um, and they're searching for you, but they can't quite determine where you are. That's how it was for Zoe and Tulk. Like, they were searching, trying to see if they could find them. But no, they were, like, literally right in the stable. And I think Zoe, like it said, if Zoe reached out, she would have touched one. That's how close they were. But they eventually slowly left, and Tulk was pissed. Tulk was pissed that she tackled him and silenced him. I mean... I would be too if someone did that to me, but I wouldn't, but if, if I knew why, then I wouldn't care. But yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's different than you see in Death Troopers. Like, if you read Death Troopers, you'll see how the zombies go one way, and then in Red Harvest, they do, an they go another way. Um, I think it all depends on, like, the force, like, the, what, the abilities of what the organs that become infected Dathomirians can become infected because in the Death Troopers video game, like undead witches, they're undead um, Dathomirian witches. I'm pretty sure they could uh, still use their magic. I mean, three witches, they did become infected, but they used their magic to stave it off and they could control the undead. Not not with the chain of resurrection, that's different. Um, like the, You can use your magic to summon the dead on Dathomir, but this was using their magic to control the ones that have been infected by the virus. So yeah, it's really bizarre, and it's something to think about. Um, <clears throat> I don't know where I can find this particular... There is a Death Troopers video game, but it's not accurate to the lore. Like, it has nothing to do with the lore, but the one I'm talking about does have to do with the lore. Like, there's a lore-related video game, and then there's one that's not. Like, it's like the old Republic, Star Wars The Old Republic. That's related to the lore, but... The other Death Troopers novel is not a novel. Video game is just a survival horror game. Um, because there are a lot of things about the zombies in there that are not accurate. So yeah, it's just something to think about, and even I'm still trying to process it. But yeah. I, I just wanted to get those additional thoughts off my off my chest. Um like I said in the last video, I will be off of YouTube for a while, probably, most likely for a while, because um, I got to work on my other projects, um, and I will see you guys next time, whenever that may be. So, in the meantime, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you when the next video comes. Bye-bye.